and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing an intermediate tutorial to Light Switch by Charlie Puth. I'm really excited to do this song. Um, I, I love this song. I listen to it a lot but I hadn't considered doing it as a tutorial until last night I went, hey Sean, what song should I do tomorrow? And he goes, what about Light Switch? And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I like forget about it every time it's time to make a tutorial. So I'm really excited to do this with you today. It's intermediate, but I will give some options to make it a little harder, some options to make it a little easier, but it's pretty intermediate. It does have a couple of like trick steps in it. It's got pullbacks, but I always have an option for pullbacks. It's got a, it's got a wing in it, but I have an option to not do that wing, so don't be scared. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited to learn this with you guys today and Let's get started. Also, before we start, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe please. That would be awesome. Join the top fam. Subscribe. All right, so let's get started. So it starts with one of my favorite phrases. It's such a simple phrase. It's so simple, but a lot of my students like know this phrase because they use it a lot. It's two falap heels and four falaps. It's just such a good eight count phrase for any kind of dance. It really gets you going, you know, because you start slow, and then you do four quick falaps. So these are running falaps, but if you need to walk the falaps, that's okay too, to go. So either way, I like running them just because it gives me that like energy, but if you want to walk them, that's cool too. So it's two falap heels, four falaps. So let's try that together. Two flap heels, a one, two, a three, four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, and that's the rhythm. Let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. Awesome. You do that twice in a row. So you do the exact same phrase twice over. It really just revs you up for this dance. It's such a fun song. Let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. So there's a little bit of a control element. After the running flaps, you gotta come back down. That it's that energy of straight into having the control to bring it back down and slow it a little bit. So let's do that one more time, and then I will finish this first phrase with you. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. So from there, now that we have that phrase, we have two Shirley Temples or Broadways or Manhattans or Alexanders or whatever else you call it, falap heel, heel, span, heel, toe, heel. I call it a Broadway. It's just what I'm gonna call it. It's how it's written on the paper, so that's what I'm gonna call it. But it's any of those names, that's the step we're doing. You probably call it a Shirley Temple, and I only say that because it's like 75% of tap dancers I've met call it a Shirley Temple. Um, so we have two Broadway Shirley Temple, you know. So it's and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And also before you go any further, if we do a step that you haven't learned, like if you haven't learned the Broadway Shirley Temple Manhattan Alexander, um, <laughs> I have a step tutorial playlist in the description right down below. Go click on that list, look for the step that you want to learn. I have like, I think there's like over 35 steps on that list, maybe 40. Um, Look for the step that you need to learn, learn it, and then come right back to this video. Cool? Awesome. So we have the two Broadways. The timing of that is So after you do your four full laps, you have one, two, right after that full lap because it's and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So the Broadway Shirley Temple starts on the and. Let me just wake this thing up real quick. So it starts on the and and that's really, really important to do. And two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Then you have paradiddle, paradiddle. Cramp roll, ball change. So, 
two Broadways, two paradiddles, cramp roll, ball change. The last phrase is what would you then do? Okay? So the two Broadways, then the two paradiddles, cramp roll, ball change. And that's five and six and seven, eight. So it's really important that you keep that cram roll separated and slow. So let's try from the Broadways. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. Good. One more time, then we'll put all that together, then we'll try it with music. From Broadways. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure after that second paradiddle, you give yourself a little bit of a plie to spring into that cramp roll. So that I'm ready. You know? All right, so let's try it from the beginning. And then we will try it with music. Ready? Five. Sorry about the dog next door. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. sees my cat <laughs> and he's like going nuts <laughs> but it's all right let's try it So it's the same song, but different instrumentation. So just focus on the counts. Focus on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. chirping outside and I think that it messed up my rhythm so if that did happen I do apologize I am a stickler for rhythm so if my teacher did that I would notice and be like oh. so I'm letting do you hear those birds it's like morning choir time all right so one more time and then I will go on to the very next section ready Listen to more birds. <laughs> you can always rewind the video, practice, 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 and then meet me back here when you're ready. Cool? All right. So next section we have, we just did. Now we have a maxi forward. Here's where I can give you some fun options. You have step shuffle, jump toe. So just one. There's no step after it. It's just one maxi forward. Step shuffle. 
So this is where you're going to need to have a lot of control with your maxi four. How do you make it harder? Add a grab off or a pickup, whichever one you call it. You can absolutely add that grab off. For the purposes of keeping this video intermediate, I'm not going to add that, but you absolutely can. It can go one, cool. All right, but for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to add that. And it's just step, shuffle, step, heel. Then you have shuffle, step, heel. Shuffle, step, heel. Stay. And the hard part is doing that shuffle, step, heel after the maxi four, because you're going to want to put your weight down, like your weight on your foot, and you can't. You absolutely can't, because you have. So you've got to hold on to that control and not put any weight on this foot so you have time to do that shuffle and then put your weight on it. You really, really got to have that control, and it's all in the landing of the maxi board. So it's. So it's a little fast, but fast is good because that means you don't have to balance for that long. If you're doing it with the pickup, it's. Okay? So let's try that together. One E and a two, and a three E and a four E and. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. I'm counting an eight to get you in there, and then counting in four after that. I don't know why I'm doing that. One and two and three, four and five and six and seven, eight. There we go. Let's try that. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time just to make sure we have it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Maxi forward, shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel, stand. Then we have step, shuffle, hop, step. We have a step and then an Irish. So it's just one step and then one Irish. Um, if you want to make that harder, you put a little pull back into that Irish. Again, I'm not going to do that for the purposes of keeping this video intermediate, but I'm going to give you these options. So it'll go Okay? Only if you want to. But it's one and two and three, or with, the, or with the pullback. Then you have a five count riff. And it's, it's not like da, 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 da. it's not swung at all. It is a very straight rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. So you have a five count riff. And then heel, heel, toe, toe, crawl, starting with the right heel. So you're going to drive with that right heel, right, left, right. So that line goes. Again, there's that balance problem, which is such a good problem to work on. Step, step, step. All of your weight goes onto that step. All of your balance goes into that hip. Then your weight can transfer. Whew, so hard. It's like intermediate, but it's an intermediate challenge because of these balances right here. So let's do step, shuffle, hop, step, and a five count riff, heel, heel, toe, toe. Okay? Five, six, seven, left. Step, shuffle, hop, step, heel, toe, toe. Whew, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Same exact rhythm as the other one. Same exact rhythm, different steps. So if you're having trouble with the first one, but you got the second one, just do the second one twice. If you got the, if you're having trouble with the second one, but you got the first one, just do the first one twice. Then practice the other one and eventually work it in there. Cool, right? All right. So let's try it from the maxi forward. Actually, did we try it from the step shuffle hop step? I already forgot. Let's do it from the step shuffle hop step one more time just in case we didn't do it. And then we'll try it from the maxi forward. Like, like I always say, it is early. <laughs> so let's try it from the... So let's try it from the... Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's try it from right to left. From, so from the max 
taxi forward to the Irish. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Pause after three. One more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. Awesome. Can I go on? I wanted to try to do this in three sections. That just feels like a lot. But it's okay. Let's do that one more time just to make sure, sure, sure that we have it. And then I'll add the last phrase of this section and then we'll try it with music. It's not that bad. I promise it's not that bad. So for maxi four, five, six, seven, go. Good. Your right foot is free. This is where some of y'all get mad at me. So we're going to be doing drawbacks, but they don't start from the brush. They start from the step. So you have to like, just start it at a different point. It's still the same number of sounds but it starts at a different point. So instead of going step to step, you're gonna be doing step, step, step. So if you don't wanna think about it like a drawback, just think about it like step, spank, heel. Four sets of step, spank, heel. Okay? Or it's four drawbacks, but you're starting on the step. I think the steps should be versatile so that we should be able to start them like, like a time step, right? We're so used to starting the time step on the stump, well, what if we started on the hop? Or what if we started on the falafel change? I think it's great to practice steps starting from a different point within the step. I also just love it for weird rhythms, just saying. So these are syncopated. These are going one, two, 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 one, and then you finish it off with step, ball change. Now, that can be on flat feet, or it can be on the toes, depending on how you like to do your pullbacks. Wake up, computer thing. All right, so you just did, here, your right foot is free. You have four step spank heels, or four drawbacks starting with a step. And then on seven, eight, it's either or it's ball change. Okay, let's try that. Um, just from the drawbacks. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. From there, the last thing is you have options. It's either a pullback or a cramp roll. Either way, it makes the same sound. So if you're doing the pullback, it's actually really challenging because the pullback is slow. It's got to be one and a two, three, four, five and a six, seven, eight. Not da da da, but da 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 da. Open your pullback. So you just did seven, eight. You have, and then you end with a stamp, stamp. So it's pull back, ball change, pull back, stamp, stamp. So you do end with a stamp, stamp just so that it has period, period. Um, if you're doing the cramp roll, same thing. You just did ball. You have so cramp roll, ball change, cramp roll, stamp, stamp. Either way, you're making the same sounds, but the cramp roll allows you to still do this combination, even if pullbacks are not in your vocabulary yet, um, or jumping is not something that your your knees can do. Because I know we have dancers on this channel of all ages, all ability levels, and I'm going to definitely make sure that um, especially the intermediate tutorials that have options, I'm gonna make sure that they fit everybody, okay? So, from that drawback, one and two and three and four and five and six and ball change, pull back, ball change, cramp roll, ball change, whichever one you're doing. I'm gonna do pull backs, but if you're doing cramp rolls, cool. From the drawback, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, That's what it sounds like. All right, so let's try from the maxi forward and add that on. It's gonna be fun, I promise. Sorry, not with music, I'm just making sure that that stays awake. That computer loves to fall asleep super fast. <laughs> All right, so go from the maxi forward. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull 
class is hard, isn't it? I am working very hard. I'm like mentally going one and a two, three, four. I'm like counting it. Let's do that one more time. Also, I my heels clicked during something and I was like, ooh. But then I was like, oh, because that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you ever do that? It's just so funny. All right, maxi four. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. it on we can do this we can do this also remember whenever we add on or whenever we like try it with music first time never counts why do you interrupt me <laughs> sorry first time never counts ever this is just us trying to take the steps that we learned and put it to the music and see how it fits we're not even sure what it's supposed to sound like at this point so it's okay if you mess up it's okay if it's not good First time is just to go, oh, okay. So it's not supposed to be good. I say this in my live classes. I say this at my company rehearsals, my professional company rehearsals. I say that. First time we try it, it's supposed to be not that great. <laughs> if it's perfect the first time we try it, I didn't make it hard enough. So let's try it first time through, no pressure. just a little bit better. Try to fix one little thing. Maybe we missed the transition into the drawbacks. Maybe we missed the transition into the step Irish. Let's give it a shot. Make it a little bit better. tutorials and add them in. That's, that's like one of the beauties of having these intermediate, you can have options tutorials. You can come back to one of these and add the stuff that makes it harder and try it again, but with like a different ability level. That's so cool. All right, last time. And then we go on to the very last section. I felt weird about it. I don't know. 
Um, maybe it was my cramp roll. <laughs> I don't know. Something felt weird. I gotta watch the video later and be like, uh, yeah, that was wonky. Or, Jen, you're crazy. It was fine. One of those two things happens every time I edit. So, um, okay, we just did pull back, ball change, pull back, stamp, stamp. Or cramp roll, ball change, cramp roll, stamp, stamp. Either way, you are here. Here's the last section. You have paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, stamp. So how you do that is two paradiddles, and then you just add a dig spank before your paradiddle. So it's a regular paradiddle with an extra dig spank, and then a paradiddle, and then stamp. That's all that it is. If you've never done a double paradiddle before, that's I call it a double paradiddle. Maybe other people call it something different. Please let me know what you call it. Um, but yeah, paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, stamp. Let's try that. I'm not going to for the sake of this video, but it's step, 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 step. So that's if you want to add it, there's your option. I love adding grab offs, but again, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to add it. Okay? So we have paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, stamp, shuffle diddle, shuffle diddle, shuffle, shuffle diddle, stamp. Step show, full ball change, step show, full ball change, ball change. So let's add that piece and then I'll get to the very, very last thing. From paradiddle, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Then the song goes da, 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 six, seven, eight, 
So you have like this, like three counts. Let me see if I can find that for you so you guys can hear that. for you. You either go jump, pull back, chug, and it's the quickest pull back. So you have pull back, and then chug. So you chug out. So that'll go. That's one option. Option two is the one that I'm going to be doing in this video. Yes, this is the intermediate video, but some intermediate dancers do have wings and are working on wings. So the one I'm going to do for the video is the wing. But if you're doing the pullback, cool, awesome. It fits the same rhythm. You can go. So that's on that da, da, da. So we go five, six, seven, eight. So that's option two. Option three is actually the easiest option. So if pullbacks and wings are not in your vocabulary, but you still want to do this dance, totally fine. Crimp roll. So you have, or you can do like jump, jump, chug. Like, there are lots of things that you can do in that section. Just make three sounds. You can add like a little, what are we adding? It's not, it's not a slur, uh, grace note. We are adding a grace note to the middle note. That's really what we're doing. Da, 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 da. So it's still three sounds, but with the pullback and the wing, we're adding a grace note. With the cramp roll, you're adding a grace note, a set of grace notes. Um, grace notes are like notes that are like super, super quick and barely exist before the actual note. I love music theory. So those are your options. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to do jump and a wing, chuck. But if you want to do pullback, that's fine. If you want to do cramp roll, that's fine. If you want to do jump, jump, chug, that's fine too. Whatever you want. All right, so let's do this last section and add that. So let's go from the paradiddle all the way to the end, and then let's walk through the whole dance, and we'll do it with music. So from paradiddle, five, six, five, six, seven, go. I did a pullback for no reason. I meant to do a wing. I also said step shuffle jump toe and it was a step shuffle ball change. So that worked out real, real well. But we made it through. Let's do that one more time so I can redeem myself. I don't edit out a lot of my mistakes anymore because we all make mistakes. So let's do it again. Now you get a bonus run through. From paradiddle, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Jen, you did it right. <laughs> so you got a bonus run through because I messed up. It's great. Um, let's go from the top, walk through the whole thing, and then we'll do it with music. All right. From Palapio, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. light off and it's been bugging me so I just turned it on. I'm at the end of the video and I, I turn on the light. I finally turn on the light. <laughs> All right so let's try it with music. First time doesn't count. 
First time is just to see how it all fits together. We don't even know what that section of music sounds like at the end yet. That's okay. No pressure. Let's do this. did and I was like honestly I have never been more proud than if you were to do that like at top speed I was so proud of them because musicality at slow tempos is so hard so hard so that yes it was as much for me as it was for you um, let's try it again this time we're just gonna make it just a teeny bit better focus on fixing like one little thing focus on just fitting the song a little bit better or just getting more comfortable with it cool down below <laughs> beautiful guitar cover and I think um, he does a lot of them so last time last time that we're gonna do it together um, again this is a video so you can like rewind it and do it as many times as you want but for video purposes this is the last time we will do it together so what do we do I, I act like I can hear you telling me so write it in the comments <laughs> like right as I ask so what do we do <laughs> make it fun that's the most important thing about the last run through is that you make it fun. We just learned a whole piece. Like, let's have fun with it. A whole combination. A whole combination. All right, let's do it.
I just absolutely love intermediate tutorials. If I'm just gonna give you like one solid tutorial, doing an intermediate one helps me teach advanced beginners, advanced dancers, intermediate dancers, and even beginners can give this a try. You can always slow it down. I just love it, I love it so much. I love being able to do this song. And I also love doing an intermediate one because maybe later I can do like a beginner and an advanced one and redo the song. So, if you had fun with this, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and join the TAP fam. We've got stuff like this. <laughs> we have, um, what is this called? A choreography tutorial. There we go. So you can learn choreography on this channel. We have technique exercises. We have step tutorials, like I mentioned in the playlist down below. We've got challenges, vlogs. I haven't filmed a challenge in a while. I should probably do that. We should go to like Goodwill and get some like crazy shoes. Cool. Sean's over there. Yeah. What would you say? Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I should, let me know if I should do that. Write down in the comments if I should do another crazy shoe challenge or like give me a different challenge. Give me something. Um, I just love challenges. They're just fun. <laughs> it makes my Saturday take. It makes my Saturday a little bit better if I have a challenge to do. So. All right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. Um, thumbs up helps other tap dancers find this channel and my whole purpose of this channel is to give you guys free tap dance class. I wish I had had this when I was younger. I couldn't afford class and then I got to a point where there really were no advanced classes where I was and this was before YouTube was a big thing so I didn't really have a way to take class. I had some teachers that were amazing and wonderful and sent me DVDs to dance with and I did them over and over and over again. So I am so grateful for what they gave me. And this is me giving back to you. I hope that you love this. Please hit that thumbs up. The best way to support this channel is to subscribe and help get other people to subscribe. That's one of the best ways that you can support this channel. Because once I hit the next subscriber milestone, I can offer you even more. And I'm so excited about that. We have a lot of planning to do for when we hit that milestone. So definitely subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.